Hey guys, so I have reasons to believe that my house is haunted. Ooh, I'm a ghost. Well, maybe. Just tonight, I was taking a shower in the shower. Then I placed my clothes on top of the toilet, like you'll see right now. And I take a shower, and I get out of the shower, and I look at the toilet, and what do I see? You will find out at this very moment right now, after this moment of this very moment that's gonna happen, right? Hey, where are my clothes? Shut up! So then, I get out of the shower, and I'm all looking around, no one has been in the shower, not that I knew of, and when I put my clothes there, I put my clothes there, and I went to take a shower real fast, and they were gone. So that kind of freaked me out a little bit, so I started looking for them. And then I went outside with a towel around me, and this is what happened. You know what we should do? We should put it in this one as well, and we'll run to something that we can all agree on. So I went back, and then... I saw, like, we have, like, a hallway, and at the end of the hallway, I saw that the clothes were right there, just on the floor, and I was like, I asked my parents if they moved it, and they said no, and then my clothes were right there. This was, like, my reaction when I saw it. Um, that's not really how I reacted to it. I was just like, what the heck? And I didn't like drop the clothes. I just put the clothes on. It doesn't really matter. I was, I didn't really think much of it, even though clothes, my clothes got outside somehow. The door didn't open at all because you hear the door open and they slid under, I guess. I don't, I don't know. It's weird. So they were just not in the bathroom anymore. And I really wouldn't be surprised if my house was haunted. Because I have seen something before. It was around the time when my friends and I did the scary maze thing. <laughs> well, that game was terrifying to most kids who did it. Me, my friends, obviously. So I'm going to tell you guys this, my, the ghost story of what happened to me when I was like in 5th grade or 4th grade. I can't really remember. And this traumatized me and it caused me to be afraid to go upstairs for a really long time but here's what happened so i was outside with my dad and we had a truck and at the bed of the truck i saw like a woman's leg just nothing on no socks no skirt or anything or whatever you call that thing on the leg it was just moving like that like here like like that i i, I don't know how to describe it yeah it was just it was moving at that kind of motion and I was like, oh, cool, sexy leg. I'm going to go touch the sexy leg because there's probably a sexy woman there. That's not what I was thinking because I was in fifth grade, but it's what I think of it now. Huh, uh, no. But um, I go to the leg, and when I got closer, the leg pulled in, and I was like, oh, cool. And then when I look by the bed, by the truck, the bed of the truck, I didn't see a leg there, and I was like, weird. So then I... Later that day, I walked past the bathroom, and I just saw an arm, like, as if a body was there, like, you know, going to the bathroom, sitting on the bathroom, but I just saw the arm, so imagine my body, my body gone, but you just see an arm, so I saw that, and I was like, whoa, man, this is giving me goosebumps right now, because that was scary, and I was like, that's not cool, oh, god, I thought I just saw a face outside, oh, that just scared the crap out of me, oh, <sighs> Okay, it was nothing, it was just my reflection. Okay, so, oh god, man, I'm so scared right now. So then, I walked past, and I saw the arm, and then when I walked back, no arm there. I was like, scary. And then, I was gonna go upstairs for some reason, and we had this big mirror, and by the mirror, I was just standing there, and I looked at the reflection of the mirror, and there was just a lady standing there, 
with a white dress and hair in front of her face. She was just standing there looking at me. And I stood there, frozen in fear. I was terrified. <sighs> I can remember it so clearly, man. Just And then when I turned around, nothing was there. That was the scariest moment of my life. I'd like to hear your ghost stories if you have any. So, please leave a comment, leave a like, hope you liked the video. This was somewhat serious and a little bit of a joke. Well, I mean, yeah. So, I wouldn't be surprised if my house was haunted. I hope it is not. And I'm always hearing noises here, and I hear my name a couple times, which is not normal, but hopefully it'll phase out. Okay. Bye. Love you all.